Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do this video to update you guys on all of the methods and colors that we offer here at Jay-Z Styles. The last time I did a video like this was years ago. We weren't even in the building we're in now. And the first time I did this, we were just barely launching. So things have obviously changed since those two videos. And because of that, I wanted to talk about all of the colors and methods that we offer. And I thought I could also start a little series on here where I talk about all of the stuff we have in general. I could do a video on merchandise, a video on extension installation tools, and so on and so forth because we are expanding and we now have so many exciting products. So today's video is going to be dedicated to our extensions, the methods we offer, and the colors we offer. So if you're interested in watching this, stay tuned. Okay, so. To start off, I wanted to talk about wefts because those are so popular right now. And the funny thing is when we launched our extension line, we only had machine wefts. When we originally launched, we had machine wefts, clip-ins and tape-ins, and that's it. And then we introduced hand tights in and then cozy wefts in, which is our newest addition. And I wanted to go over all of them and talk to you guys about the colors that each of them come in and also what they are because a lot of people don't know what cozies are. And a lot of people also get confused on different weft types and what they mean. So if you go to our website, which is jayzystyles.com, you will see that we have a drop down list on the left hand side and we have different tabs you can choose from. We have hair, education, salon, clothes, and then they expand and have different categories within them. So if you go to hair, it shows you guys all of the methods that we offer. So the first one I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is machine weft, since it is the OG weft, the one we've had the longest. Machine wefts are really great, but they do have a thicker seam up at the top. And because of that, they're really only ideal for medium to thick hair because they do add extra volume. So if someone is wanting extra volume, this is the perfect weft for them. I think other extension lines actually refer to it as the volume weft, so that's pretty cool. But if your client has pretty thin hair, you actually don't wanna use a machine weft because it's gonna create like a bump on the back of their head and since their own hair is more fine you're going to be able to see it easier so because of that machine weft really is just ideal for medium to thick hair that wants to create volume and they're okay with the thicker seam up top um, I love machine wefts. I think they're actually the easiest ones to learn on. So if you're new to wefts and you're just wanting to practice, machine are really, really great. Um, since machine wefts are the first wefts that we had, we have them in all of our shades. Um, the nice thing about machine wefts is you can cut them on the seam. They're not gonna shed or fall apart. So you can take it, measure it to where you need it to be on the head, cut it, you're good to go. You don't have to glue, cut, anything like that. Um, like I said, we do have them in every single shade that we offer, which is awesome. The other wefts, hand tight and cozy, we don't currently have in all of our shades. We have them in most, but we are working on just adding more and more to our line. Um, so I will go over the colors in just a minute, but we do have them all in machine wefts. We also have half bags with our wefts. So along with full machine wefts, we also have half wefts. Half wefts are amazing because you can mix and match colors. Let's say your client needs a full bag of wefts. You could take two half bags in two different colors, mix them together, and it gives them a really custom result. Half bags are also really great because you also can just use a half bag on a client who just wants one row for fullness. So it gives you some options, which I love. As far as the colors that we offer half machine wefts in, we currently have it in Sky, Cora, Stormy, Jesse, Peyton, Freddie, Diana, Mariah, Jordan, Jagger, Jen, Kali, Graham, Mary Kate, Desmond, Kendra, Kinsey, Brooke, Trini, Lauren, Bentley, Bailey, and Beckham. So that's pretty much all our shades, but there are a couple that are left out. And like I said, all of our wefts will have most of them. And then hopefully over time, we will have all of them in all wefts. Okay, next up is going to be hand tied wefts. This is probably the most popular weft on the market right now. Everyone on Instagram knows about hand tied wefts. And because of that, a lot of people get kind of confused and think that hand tied wefts are a method. So we'll get clients calling in or people DMing us being like, I really want the hand tied extensions. And they think it's like the way you're putting it in that's like so revolutionary. Really, it's just the hair that you're using. Hand tied wefts are awesome because they lay flat to the head. The seam is a lot smaller and more delicate than machine wefts and if you have them side by side you'll definitely be able to tell the difference but the downside to hand tied wefts is that you cannot cut them on the seam or they will start to shed and fall apart we don't recommend gluing hand tied wefts with our hair because the glue can start to fall apart in the shower and then the weft will shed or we've also had clients who have like 
accidentally melted the glue into their head using hot tools. So we like to avoid that. So in our trainings, we actually teach how to brick lay, fold, and stack the hand tights so you never have to cut them. But I would say because of that, it does make it a little trickier to use them. You can also stack so many hand tights on top of each other since they're thinner, and that also makes it a little trickier to sew down. So if you're new to wefts in general, I wouldn't start with a hand tight if you're practicing. That's gonna be something that you wanna pick up after you're more comfortable with the technique you're doing. So basically when you're looking to get wefts in general, if you're a client, um, you're basically gonna be getting a foundation, which is like the beaded track or whatever your stylist does to build something on your hair to attach the weft to. So that's what your method is going to be. And in our trainings, we have a fine hair method and a thick hair method so that everyone has options that's best for their hair. So that's your foundation. And then the weft you choose is what you put on the foundation. So you can do your foundation and then you can either choose a machine, a hand tied, or a cozy to put on that foundation. And you basically base that off of what's best for your client's hair and what's best for their budget as well because our wefts do range in price. So if you've ever been confused about hand tides, that's a little breakdown for you. Um, I think people also get confused because machine are made by machine, hand tied are made by hand. And I always hear people refer to machine as machine tied and that's not what it is. It's machine sewn and then hand tied. So I know that can be kind of confusing. If you're a stylist, you may understand that a little better than a client would, but there's a little knowledge for you guys. Um, so as far as our hand tied wefts go, we have them in the shades Sky, Cora, Stormy, Jesse, Peyton, Freddie, Diana, Mariah, Jordan, Jagger, Jen, Kali, Graham, Mary Kate, Desmond, Kendra, Kinsey, Brooke, Trini, Lauren, Bentley, Bailey, and Beckham. So that is pretty much most of them, but there are a few missing. And after I go over all of these types of hair that we offer, I will do a color breakdown for you guys so that you can look at that and see accurately what our colors are. Um, our colors are a little different because they're names and I'll get into that in a minute. And then as far as half hand tights go, we have them in colors Sky, Cora, Stormy, Jesse, Peyton, Freddie, Mariah, Diana, Jordan, Jagger, Jen, Collie, Graham, Mary Kate, Desmond, Kendra, Kinsey, Trini, Brooke, Lauren, Bentley, Bailey, and Beckham. Um, our full hand tights have six bundles and our half hand tights have three. All right, next up is Cozy Wefts. Cozy are amazing and the reason that we actually named them the Cozy is because they're cozy. They're comfortable to wear in your hair. Everyone loves them and when we teach classes, most everyone decides at the end of the class that they love Cozy the most. I love wearing them in my hair. It's a latex band, so it does lay a lot thinner than a machine weft, which is awesome. We like to call it the hybrid weft because it lays flat like a hand tied, but you can cut it like a machine Left. So it's honestly perfect for practicing. It's perfect for every hair type. It's awesome So I would definitely recommend trying it if you haven't already um, The cozy is the newest weft to our line. Uh, we've had it about a year and a half now and it's just blown up It's been amazing I would say the only person you wouldn't want to use it on is someone that has a latex allergy Because the latex band obviously has latex in it So that and tape ins both have latex and you wouldn't want to use that on a client with a latex allergy But other than that, it's really really great for all hair types so in our Cozy Weft, we have it in the colors Sky, Cora, Stormy, Jesse, Peyton, Freddie, Diana, Mariah, Jordan, Jagger, Jen, Kali, Becca, Mary Kate, Desmond, Kendra, Kenzie, Graham, Brooke, Trini, Lauren, Bentley, and Bailey. Um, so once again, most all of them, just a few missing. And then as far as the half cozies go, we have those in Sky, Cora, Stormy, Jesse, Peyton, Freddie, Diana, Mariah. Jordan, Jagger, Jen, Kali, Mary Kate, Desmond, Kenzie, Kendra, Graham, Brooke, Trini, Lauren, Bentley, Bailey, and Beckham. Um, all of our hair can be custom colored, so if you have a client that needs the cozy weft or a half weft in any of them in a different color, you can always custom color them with professional color. I recommend Demi Permanent to create the look of another one, um, or you can mix and match colors. I will also in this video talk about dupes for other colors if we are out of one and something you can use instead. Um, we just don't recommend bleaching or perming our hair because it is human hair and it's already been processed to get to the color it is, and you don't want to comp compromise it any further. All right, and then we have tape-ins. So tape-ins are awesome. I've been doing tape-ins for years and years. I feel like most every stylist has done them at one point. Some hate them, some love them. And we have them in two different lengths, 22 inch and 16 inch. And the tape-ins come in every single color. So that's the greatest thing is no matter what color you need, we will have it in tape-ins. And tape-ins are awesome for doing frontals, for adding fullness. I like to do the combo method where I do mostly webs with a few tapes in front because a lot of clients do have finer hair 
hair up here or thinning hair or breakage that they need to disguise and sometimes it's hard to put a weft that close so putting a few tapes in the front just kind of like changes the whole look and gives that full look in the front whereas a weft can't always on certain hair types some people can just do wefts too it totally just depends on your hair type but i love having tapes for that option in our trainings i always hear people say that they hate tape ins because they're sticky and messy and trust me i get it but one of my things that I wanted to focus on when opening my extension line was making tape ins an easier process. So because of that, we created our own remover and our own tape that are formulated together to work perfectly. So if you try our tape and remover together, you will see that there's no residue, no stickiness. It comes out so, so easy. Um, if there is anything, it's just a little bit of residue and it's easy to get out, but zero stickiness. You don't have to wash the extensions or the client's hair. You can put them back in within 10 minutes because it dries down really quickly and you just put new tape on it and you're good to go so I will go over those two products more in depth when I do our extension installation video but as far as tape ins go I promise just give them a try um, if you use our products because it's amazing next up we have clip ins clip ins are so great for clients that don't want to have the maintenance of regular extensions and just want to be able to put them in and out themselves all of our clip ins come in every single shade that we offer which is awesome and the best part about clip ins is they're not permanent so you can take them out at night don't sleep in your clip ins that'll break the clips down and it can cause breakage to your hair and then also if you're the person that wants to put your clip ins in every single day you might as well just get permanent ones because clip ins are better for like special occasions or once or twice a week not something that you're wanting to do every day because in the end that actually becomes more maintenance and the hair is not going to last as long because you're constantly doing that to it you're having to wash it and everything clip-ins are going to last you longer if you don't wear them as often so it's really just an option for people that don't want something permanent all the time all right, so now that I have gone over all of the methods that we offer here, I'm going to go over the colors with you. So when I created the extension line, we had 14 shades and it was awesome and they were all beautiful, but now I think we have 30, 29 or 30, as I'm going over this, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, we basically doubled our shade collection and we've tweaked some of our shades, we've created shades, and I love that we have options because we have so many brunettes, um, solid brunettes, dimensional brunettes, we have solid blondes and dimensional blondes, we have rooted colors, melted colors, reds, I feel like I don't hardly ever have to custom color our hair. I will purple shampoo blondes because sometimes they're a little too golden for me. But other than that, I never really have to go through and like low light or color unless the client wants a drastic change and doesn't want to buy new hair. So I love that we have that many options because of that. So something unique about our colors is that it is a name system instead of a number system. Most extension lines do go by the number system. So number 60 or number 1822, number four. And for me as a new stylist doing extensions back in the day, that was a little confusing for me because um, you know, we also use levels for hair color and we use numbers and it wasn't matched up. So like a level four wasn't a number four in extension. So it was really confusing, especially when ordering online. And also it was kind of confusing to explain that to the clients as well. So I knew when I created my line that I wanted it to be more unique. So I have names for all of my colors and it's named after someone in my life or someone on a TV show I love usually. And then they also have descriptions. So I'm going to go over all of that with you and also give you guys the number for each color in case you are used to the number system. Okay, so the first color is the Sky Vanilla Frosting. So they each have a name and then they each have a description that's like a yummy treat or something like that. So basically the Sky is an ash blonde and it's number 60A. 60 is platinum, 60A means platinum ash. So this is basically our brightest blonde but ashed out a little bit. And I'm gonna show you guys a clip of comparing it to Cora right here, which I will show you guys Cora next. You can see that they are very, very similar, but the sky is just a little bit cooler toned. So for your clients that like their hair to be a little ashier, the sky is perfect. And then moving on to the Cora, the Cora is just number 60 and it's the Cora Powdered Sugar and it's basically a platinum blonde. This is a true bright platinum blonde. It is a little more yellow than the sky. You can custom tone it to be ashier, but if you have a client that just wants like white bright hair, this is gonna be the color for you and it is one of our most popular shades for sure. I'm gonna give you guys a little cheat sheet as I talk about these, which ones are rooted colors of other ones or which two colors are put together to make another one uh, because I don't think a lot of people realize that there are other options when we're sold out of things. Um, so for example, this next color is the Stormy Blonde Brownie. It's basically a rooted ash blonde and the number for this one is 860A. And this is basically a rooted sky. So if you have a client that needs a root but they like the ashier blonde, the Stormy is gonna be the best color for you. Next up is another rooted blonde, and this is the Jessie. 
So this is the Jesse Oreo cookie, but it's rooted a little bit darker than the Stormy. So you guys saw that the Stormy is a lighter root and this Jesse is a darker root. So that way we have options for all types of blondes. Next up is the Peyton. This is another rooted blonde and it's the Peyton Blonde Neapolitan and this is a three-toned ombre. The colors are for 1860 and it is the best color for someone who wants like an ombre blonde. So there is a, a photo of Lauren Conrad with like an ombre blonde that we get shown a lot and this is like the perfect color for that. So it basically goes from a darker root to a mid to an end and it's the root of the Jesse, then the root of the Stormy, and then it's the Cora on the end. So it's a really, really pretty shade if you have a blonde that likes to be a lot more low maintenance. Okay, then we have the Freddy, and this is Cream Puff, and it's a rooted, cool, dimensional blonde. The colors are 81860A. So it's basically a rooted mix of a low light in Mariah, which I'll get to, and then a sky. So it's really cool because all of our colors kind of intertwine together and because of that, mixing them is really fun. The Freddy is beautiful. It's one of our most popular shades for blondes. You can mix it into any bright blonde to add dimension and you can also use it to darken a blonde and it's so, so pretty. Um, I look like a mess today, no makeup and hair, but it's in my hair and I have it mixed with Cora and I love it. Cora and Freddy together are like my favorite combo. So. If you are looking for like a soft rooted dimensional blonde, Freddie's the way to go. All right, next up is Diana. This is Diana Buttermilk, and this is a butter blonde. It's definitely on the warmer side. It's colors 1622. It's a piano color, and when referring to piano colors with extensions, it's when you can see the highlights and lowlights just right next to each other side by side. It can look a little chunky in the packaging sometimes, but in the hair it's beautiful. And this is definitely good for those clients who want to be more of a golden blonde. Next is the Mariah Snickerdoodle. This is a soft blonde. It's an 1822. So it's basically just like the Diana. It's a piano blonde, but it's a little cooler toned. Um, the 16 is a little golder and the 18 is a little more beige. So this is more of like a beige dimensional blonde. And I would say it's actually pretty similar to Freddie. It's just not rooted. Next up is the Jordan. This is one of our most popular shades for blondes and it's called the Jordan Oatmeal Raisin. This is a rooted dimensional blonde. This is the rooted Mariah. So it's an 1822 like Mariah, but it is rooted with a number four. And that is also the same root that's on the Jessie. So this is perfect for a client who's like a level six naturally and has a dimensional blonde. All right, next up is the Jagger Almond Cookie. This is actually our newest shade. We released this about five or six months ago when my son was born, he's Jagger. And this is the perfect bronze shade. It's amazing, I've never seen another color like this and it's a 41882. So it's a rooted four and then it's a, a combined mixture of a piano 18, eight and two. So the best part about this is it has so many different colors in it and it's a Jordan and a Desmond mixed together to be the perfect bronze. I always use Jordan and Desmond mixed together to make a bronze, so we basically like smushed those colors together and created the perfect one. So um, Jagger's definitely quickly become one of our most popular shades because you can use it in blondes and in brunettes, and it's amazing. Next up is the Jen Honeycomb. This is a golden strawberry blonde and it's numbers 1016. I love the Jen. It is such a chameleon color because you can use it on a redhead and you can use it on a warm blonde. It's amazing and it blends so well with either one. It definitely has those warmer tones in it and we mix it with the Beckham a lot for a really pretty coppery red. Okay, next up is the Collie. This is called Butterscotch. It's basically a rooted warm balayage color and it's a 4 10 16, so you guessed it, it's the rooted version of a Gen. It's rooted with a 4 10 16 on bottom, so it's really great for those clients who have like a really warm rooted balayage or if they have more red but they also have a root, this is going to be great to throw in as well. Okay, next up is the Gram. I love this color. This is called the Gram S'mores. It's a rooted balayage color with a low light and the numbers are four, 10, 16. So it's rooted with a four and then it has four, 10, 16 in it. So it's basically a Kali mixed with a Kendra. So it has the root, the 10, 16 is what's in the Kali and the Gen and then it also has four in there for a low light. So it basically kind of gives you a little more depth to the Kali or the Gen and also has a root on it. All right, next up is the Mary Kate. This color is called Peanut Butter Swirl and it's a rooted beige blonde. It's um, a 418, so it's basically a four on the root and then an 18 on the ends. And 18 is the beige low light in a Mariah. So if you have a client that has a rooted beigey balayage, this is perfect for you, it's awesome. 
and it does have a sister color called the Ashley. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the Ashley. I'll show it right here, but we are discontinuing it. It is basically the same as the Mary Kate. It is a 418, but it's way more ombre. So it's like half a four and then half an 18. Whereas the Mary Kate is like three inches of four and then the rest is 18. And I feel like that look is more popular. So you can see that the Ashley is more ombre, but the Mary Kate is the one I would go with as the Ashley is going to be discontinued. All right, next up is the Michelle. This is called Cinnamon Roll and it's basically just a light brown. It's number eight. I would say it compares to like a level seven and this color isn't super popular, but it's really good for mixing in a low light into a blonde. And also those girls who are just like a level seven naturally that just have that, Michelle's gonna be a perfect match for them. Next up is the Desmond Toasted Almond. This is a low lighted blonde and it's like a light brown blonde mixture. It is an 8 8 18, so it's rooted with an 8 and then mixed 8 18 piano. And honestly, Desmond is the perfect chameleon color. I put this in blondes, I put this in brunettes. It is so beautiful. And especially when you see it in person, it's honestly one of the prettiest colors we have. I love it. Next is Kendra. This is definitely our most popular brunette shade. Um, it's a Kendra, it's called Brown Sugar, and it's 418 Piano. So you guys heard me describe the Mary Kate as a 418. It's a rooted, solid, ombre rooted type. So that's a four on top, 18 on bottom. But here we have the Kendra, which is a 418 Piano. So instead it's gonna be 418, 418, highlighted and low lighted. And it does look a little scary out of the package, not gonna lie, it's one of those chunky looking colors, but it is perfect once it's in the hair. It's beautiful, the perfect blend. And right now it's not rooted, but we're actually tweaking this color to make it rooted. So very soon the Kendra will be rooted with a four and then go down to what it is already. And I think that's gonna make it even more popular. Next up is the Kinsey Chocolate Chip. This is a 4.8, so it's similar to the Kendra, but it is a little bit darker, and we love this color. I wouldn't say it's like super, super popular, but fun fact, Sophia Bush wore this to an award show, this color, and it's actually on her website, um, and it was a perfect match for her hair, so it is really good for some brunettes. Next up is the Trini Caramel Apple. This is a caramel dimension-y brunette. I love it. It's a 282, so rooted with a two and then an 82 piano. And I love this shade. It's definitely a cooler tone brunette mixing shade, which is amazing. Next is the Brooke brownie batter and this is a 2-6 piano. This is currently unrooted as well but we are going to be rooting this one just like the Kendra so stay tuned it will soon have a root and then be 2-6 piano and this one is amazing. This is definitely a warmer brunette shade so if you're looking for brunette dimensional colors the Brooks better for warm tones and the Trini's better for cool tones but they are pretty similar. Next is the Lauren Salted Caramel, and this is colors 2-8, and this is a rooted shade. So it's uh, number two up top, eight on bottom, very similar to Mary Kate, but just a little bit darker. Next up is the Nikki, and the Nikki is just a warm, solid brown. It's a number four, and we call it Cherry Cola because it does have a warmish red tint. And if you put a Cherry Cola like glass in the sun, you'll see that it's like a mix of brown and red, and that's what the Nikki is. I would say it's equivalent to like a level five, so it definitely has the red undertones like level fives do. Next is the Bentley Chocolate Bar, and this is a number two. This is basically equivalent to like a level four. It's a dark brown, all over, beautiful color. Next is the Bailey Dark Chocolate, and this is a number 1B, which means soft black. So this is one of the darkest shades we have, but it's not quite jet black. So if you have a client that likes dark hair but doesn't want it as harsh as sometimes black can be, this is going to be the shade for them. And then next up is the Christina Black Licorice. This is a number one, so this is black, 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 the darkest shade we offer. It is beautiful, and... Um, the girl who plays Alex from Modern Family is the model on this one So you guys can see that on her and it is gorgeous on her skin tone. All right, let's get into our reds The first one is the Beckham pumpkin spice perfect for this time of year It's currently November when I'm filming this and it is a number 30 and this is our copper red Perfect for natural redheads perfect to mix with the gen for like a strawberry blonde. It is amazing My sister's the model on the website for this one. So if you go look at it, you're gonna die because she looks so good in it Okay, next up is the Emily Strawberry Sorbet, and this is number 33. I like to call this an auburny red. It definitely is a little more vibrant than a normal auburn, but it is like the perfect base for a client who wants an auburn tone. 
Next up is the Brecca Red Wine. This is a 99J. This is a very vibrant red. I would compare it to like a 4RV in most color lines, and it's perfect for the clients that want that vibrant fashion color red. All right, you guys, those are all of our colors and methods. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you currently use our hair, I hope this gives you a little guide on how to better order. Um, I hope this kind of broke it down for you and gave you a better idea. Just remember that on our website, we have photos of all of our colors. We have swatch photos, and then we also have real life model photos, so you can get a good idea. If you follow us on Instagram, we also always post different combinations we're using, and we always post the colors that we're using in the photo that's posted. And if you do not order our hair, I hope this gives you a little cheat sheet and a guide into Jay-Z styles. I definitely will be filming more videos like this when it comes to merchandise, tools, clothing, everything else we sell. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure to check out jayzstyles.com if you haven't already.